What about working abroad? The next few minutes I'd like to talk about a few recommendations for those who perhaps, like me, are planning to work abroad in Europe. I'm going to focus my presentation on the notes I wrote down in mid-February while attending a kind of lecture in Via Lusitana in the main office for employment in Madrid. People attending the lecture were given a few pieces of advice to bear in mind in order to find a work abroad. We also have been given a kind of guidance for a better understanding of EURES website. EURES stands for European Employment Services or Service. Um, well, now onwards you are going to listen to some miscellaneous and I hope useful information um, as for instance related to the figure of the counselor, how to fill in your online CV or how to find recognition to your graduation. We've been also strongly recommended to travel with the European Sanitary Car about the institution called NERIC. We've been taught that this is the institution in charge of finding the equivalences in the studies, studies and other kind of qualification in your personal career you might have. Well, uh, it's also important for you to know how to fill in your online CV. It isn't difficult. You only have to imitate the Europass model. So just click in Europass and see different kind of models in different languages to accomplish with the requirements for the European Union. We've been also talk about, about the possibility of exporting the unemployment benefits. We're allowed to do so, but you're committed to be unemployed for at least four weeks and then apply for the U2 form. And once you're in the destination country, you are only allowed to apply for it in seven days within. Well, you have also keep into consideration that before returning to your home country you have to check up your income situation and the social security contributions. And it's also advisable for you to apply for the U1 form. This is going to be very helpful when you once in your country and later on apply for the retirement benefits. The last thing to talk about is the level of language. Well, uh, you have to give proof of your level of language and this has to be C1 or C2 and no other level is accepted if you are planning to work abroad in the European Union. This is perhaps the only inconvenience but, you know, we have to keep trying. That's all for today. Wish you luck in case you are planning to set off for this adventure like me. Well, thanks and goodbye.